Good morning. I hope you're having a great day. So I'm out here early and I'm going to just start picking. I'll send some pictures up. I'm going to start with my zinnias and then just move down and pick a lot of good things for the florist. I'll show you my buckets before I go. 175 zinnias just out of this row and the row back there. So I didn't get it done. I still have one little patch left and then I have my patch in there and the patch by the road. Can't get my hair, my hands are full. Look at all those beauties. Yay! It's a nice haul of zinnias today. I'll probably pick through them, pick out some of the colors for the florist and be on my way. So I've got 175 done and I've got three rows to go. Yay! I found where my ladybugs have been hiding. There's a whole bunch of them in my sweet Annie. And 93 more. That's awesome. So I don't know, 268 zinnias. Woohoo! Got some pretty celosia. A few cosmos. Some amaranth. And some jewels of opar. It's a pretty bucket. Where does the time go? I did not get as much footage as I thought I did today. So I'm going to give you a recap because like I promised, I would try to do a video every day, a day in the life of the flower farmer. And sometimes I just don't get as much footage as I want to, but at least I'm getting some footage out there to give everybody an idea of what it's like. So today I did start off by harvesting my zinnias, which I show you. And they were beautiful zinnias. I had well over 200, I think 260 some zinnias today, which was awesome. So I counted those out. I gave some to the florist. I saved some back for bouquets. I cut celosia and sunflowers. I got some footage of the celosia. I did not get any footage of the sunflowers, the ageratum, the lysianthus, um, or the asters. But I think you guys have seen those in previous videos. I then took all of those over to a florist that's about 25 minutes away. So round trip, it's about a 50 minute round trip gig. I got back to the farm. I got an order for a bouquet. So I started to make the bouquet and then I got a call that two gentlemen would like to come to the farm and just kind of do an interview with me about my farm and what's going on at the farm. So I had a really nice time walking around, telling them what has happened in the last two years on the farm and how I went from a quarter acre to a half acre this year and just what my plans were for the future. So I had a very nice conversation with them, showed them around the farm, um, explained I had cut everything. I showed them my cooler, showed them all the flowers that I had cut. So I just didn't get a lot of footage of any of that. And then I made my two, I finished up the bouquet I was working on. I made another bouquet. I delivered those bouquets. And by that time it was pretty late in the afternoon. And I have two senior dogs and those dogs, one of the dogs has a heart problem. So she has heart medication and they both have problems with itching because they're both ones from Texas, one's from California and they're in Iowa and they just have allergies. So I had to get over to the vet because my puppies needed me. <laughs> so I did that and it just kind of took away my day. But I did promise that I would try my hardest to give you every day in the life of a flower farmer. I'm doing my best and I do try to just update you on what I did if I'm not able to get a lot of footage. So as I think you've all noticed in the busiest times of summer, it is hard to get a lot of footage when you're a one person show with a half acre of flowers and a lot of weeds to pull. I'm doing my best. I appreciate everybody that has stuck with me and continues to give me support on this channel. I really appreciate it. And I do plan on getting some 
really nice videos together at the end of my season when I'm not harvesting and delivering and putting bouquets together. I'm going to try to do more information about what I learned this year, what I'm going to do next year, and what my plans for my channel are next year. I think next year, since everybody's seen the day-to-day, -day, like the harvesting and stuff, maybe I'll be able to like pull together videos on what I've learned and how something's performing and you know you always learn from your mistakes and you can just make it better so I'm hoping to do that too and I do appreciate everybody sticking with me I hope you have a great day I hope you enjoyed this video and I do hope to see you in the next one